Hey everyone, it's Kingfish on the menu today. Man, it's going to be a nice one. Just want to say special thanks to Jonathan for this Kingfish. I was at a pier that evening, he hooked into this fish, and I got it. Thanks bro. Let's start seasoning our fish. It's all fresh. Just came home, so I just want to clean it up. Take some moisture out of it. Look at that. Fresh. Where can you get better fresh fish than this? I'm going to season both sides with some salt and pepper. And then I'm going to blend up my seasoning mix to the left here, which is Shadow Benny or Bandana Culantro. I got some peppers, pimento, and some flavoring yellow pepper. And of course, some garlic. I'm all just going to mince this up in a mini chopper. Season the fish, set it aside for 5 to 10 minutes. Then we're going to fry this up. Oh, it smells delicious. There, as our rice is cooking, I'm just going to go ahead and fry this. So if you notice, I'm frying my fish without flour. You can add a little bit of flour if you want to, but I'm not adding any flour. Also, I'm not going to move the fish from where I put it down. Because if you try to move it, it's probably going to break up. I'm just going to flip this and then take it out. And in the meanwhile, this is cooking. Let's go get our vegetable chopped up and ready for the pot. Onions. And we got some garlic coming up. I'm just going to smash that and give it some chop. Tomato, tomato, same thing. And some sweet peppers. If you notice, I'm putting this in one plate separate. And some carrots. I'm going to add some celery to this too. So this will go in first and cook. Lovely. Let's get our seasoning side of it get going too. Some scallion, shallot. Chop up some parsley too. Some rough chops. This is basil. Some broadleaf thyme. And our pimento peppers. And of course our thyme. Let's head to the stove. Let's put a little bit of oil. I'm using olive oil. You can use anything you want. Let's get this onion and garlic going. Remember this fish is cooked already. So everything here has got to cook before that fish and get sautéed and nice and soft. Let's keep watching your pot. You know, sometimes you leave it on by mistake too high. Keep it at medium. Cook that down really nice. Then we can add the tomato and tomato and the carrots and the celery and the sweet pepper. A little bit of tomato paste. I like to season at every level that I'm cooking at. This way I know how much salt I'm adding. Food always has good flavor this way too. I'm going to cover this down for a little while. Let it sweat down a little bit. Break down in its own juice. It's getting there, it's getting there. I'm going to add the rest of the seasonings. Cover this down, then we can add some water. Some people don't like to add a lot of water, but I want my vegetables to cook. I'm going to reduce it down to about half before I add my fish. Cover this, let it simmer. Yeah, that's about right. I'm just going to add the fish. And anytime I'm cooking fish, I only turn it once. So see, I'm going to set this here for about five to seven minutes. Then I'm going to flip it over. I'm not going to touch the pot again until it's over. And that is it. Our stew fish is done today. I love that little bit of black pepper on top, as always. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Delicious chewed kingfish with rice. You can have this with roti, or you can have it by itself just like that. Just delicious. If at any time you try our recipe, you can drop us a, a picture at our Facebook page and let us know what you think about it. Lovely, delish kingfish. Thanks again for watching. See you in my next video coming up very soon.